Hi everyone, this is Kevin, back with another video from Sticks and Stones. We're going to make more patterns today, and this one uh, is one of my favorite caricatures. He's an original. Uh, he's uh, a Native American face that I draw a lot. He's a Native American or Indian to wood carve, right? You could just draw him, put him on stuff. It could be whichever one you decide, you know, to call him, a Native American or an Indian. I guess it depends on what he identifies as, <laughs> as himself, All right? But anyway, this is the, the drawing, so get your pencil out, and we're going to make them. Okay, I'm going to start this guy by putting a line right about here, so I know about where I want to put his nose. Okay, and he's a pretty neat character, so let's follow along here. I think you guys will enjoy making him. We're going to come right down from there. Like that. We're going to come back over this side. We're going to come down. Like that. That's going to be, he's got a big wide nose. Okay. Now from there, let's bring it over to here. About like that. Come back over to this side here. Swoop it down. And bring it up into there. Okay, now this right here, of course, is going to be a nostril. And over here we're going to make a nostril. Okay, so at least there we know where his nose is going to be. Now from there, we're going to come up to about here. We're going to make an eyebrow. Well, an eyelid, actually, is just going to be. Now underneath is where we put his bottom lid. Okay, from there, we're going to make his eye. And then from that part here, right in the corner here, all right, come down and give him the inside of his eye. And over here in the corner, I always put a little shadow. Okay, now we'll give him a couple of character lines. And we're going to take a line and come down like that. Right now. Above that, all of this in here is going to be eyebrows. Okay. Now let's go over to this side. On this side, so we can keep everything kind of looking the same and how I want it, I'm going to start a couple of eyebrows to give me an idea how I want to line them up. Then I'm going to draw that upper eyelid. Okay, now I'm going to take the lower eyelid. Now from there, bottom of his eye. That's my dog. Hold on. Okay. Fishing season outside just opened. There's people outside and my dog always barks. Sorry about that. Now, where are we? We're going to go up here. We're going to draw a pupil. We're going to color that in. Okay, let's give him some character lines. Right about here, we're going to come down just like that and give him a couple of wrinkles on that side. Okay, that doesn't look like much yet but give them time. All right. right here I'm going to erase that line where I started. You don't really need it there. But up in here we're going to give them some character lines. And then right at the top we're going to make a V. That's where we're going to start his hair. Okay, so bring this over and come down. Come over just a little bit and down. Come back up here. Let's do the other side. We're going to bring it down. I'm going to come over and down on this side. Okay, let's go to the top here. Draw a line just like that. Touch in the center. Throw one just like that. Still with me? 
All right, I'm going to take this line here and we're just going to travel down, bring it in, and do that. Same on this side. I'm going to come down, bring it in, and come in and touch. Okay. Then we could put all his hair and stuff in later. Right now we're just trying to get the dimensions of his face. He's going to have a feather too. Alright, so what we're going to do is come to this line right here. We're going to come down. And give him a pretty big chin. It's kind of rounded in this character anyway. Come back up. Okay. Now this is where everything starts making him look so neat. I'm going to give him some smile lines. This will all be shaded. One on that side and over here. I'm going to come down. This right here is all going to be shaded. Because they're going to be deep cuts. Okay. Just makes it a little more interesting to look at when you draw it. Now we can darken his nose in now that we know about that's what we want. And straighten it out a little. Round it off a little. Okay, now right under his nose here, we're going to get that little teardrop. What do they call those anyway? I don't even know what they call that. But Actually, I'm going to make this one a little bigger. Maybe something like that. And I don't want it really pronounced in the pattern, but something like that. I usually put that in with a gouge. I'm going to come over here and we're going to draw one line like that. And come down like that. Then we're going to come right here. We're going to come up. go over like that. Now we're going to do the bottom. So we're going to take this line right here, we're going to come up, make a round, kind of round, very slight curve, and then come down on that side. And this right here is going to be his bottom lip. Okay. Now we can adjust all this. I don't like the way that looks, so we make it a little higher there. And the key to doing this is really in the carving. Because this right here is going to be his lip. So I'm going to make a little point right here in the middle. There's my dog again. I'm going to try and shape this with the pencil instead of my carving knife. Seems to be this one's easier to do with the carving knife. <laughs> like that. Okay, now, the whole thing that sets him off is all the little extras that uh, kind of put in with him. Like right here in his hair, I came down and actually made a feather like this. And this whole thing was just feathers. We can cover carving a feather later on in the channel, but in the pattern, I'm just drawing a basic feather. Okay. Now underneath this feather, he had braids. One here, and one over here, but we have to start it up here. There's no feather on this side, so what I did he just kind of had hair like this all the way down and then up okay this one right here was the same it was it was just jagged so it was more like that like I said you'd have to look at the picture to see it Believe it or not, these are going to be braids, right? 
Now we're going to put a line right here and a line there. Let's shade that in. And over here we can do it. I just put hair in the carving, but I'm going to make a braid out of this. I should have done the same on both sides, but we can change that. Just give him another piece of leather that holds his hair together. We'll scribble all that in. We'll change it here for pattern purposes. And this will just make the same. We'll give it some shading. So they look the same. Okay. Now at the end of both of these we can just put little tufts of hair. Like so. And we're going to give him a neck. I'm coming off a braid. Let's go over to the other braid. And then we'll give him a necklace. Maybe with some stones or beads here. We'll do some on this side. Now you can make this just one strap. They don't have to be rounded like this. And in the middle, we're going to give him his little pendant with a bone. Like that. Okay, now we got to go up and we got to get all this to blend together here. He's got to get all his character lines in, make his eyes a little darker, and make his hair. His hair is basically just going to be lines. Okay. Some flowing that way, some flowing this way. All right, they're going to come out of his part, which is right in the center here. So they go this way on that side, and on this side they'll go this way. And that's the way you would carve them. And his hair, I just made all that fill in, whatever. This is hair. This is the part that holds his hair, his braid. This piece of leather that holds his hair, this is hair. Okay. We'll just fill that in. Okay, now that right there is a simple pattern for a caricature of an Indian, all right, or Native American, or whatever, all right. Some people say it's this, some people say it's that. To me, it's, it's a drawing with special features that make him kind of interesting. Okay, so this is how... You can take this and look at it and come up with whatever you want. You can shade spots in. You can add your own or take away from what I've done. But hopefully it gives you an idea how to do this guy. And I'll show you the picture of what he came out like after he was carved. Okay? So I'm just adding a little extra details for myself. And there you have it. There's another pattern for you guys. I know down here I had to switch it up from the picture I'm looking at to draw him of the actual carving I did, but that's okay. He'll still look okay when he's carved. Okay, until the next time, this is Kevin. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video. Any ideas for any more carvings or you want a pattern, like I said, email me. I'm going to have to get back to everybody. I know a couple of you guys want patterns already. I have to make the digital files, and I have to send you my email. You send a dollar to my email, I gladly send you a digital file with your email. But I need your email first, and I have to make the file, so give me a week. And uh, I'll get back to you guys who have emailed me with my address and stuff. Okay, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.